welcome everyone uh, on behalf of Economist Impact to this, the second edition of the Future of Health, which is also linked with a whole day on AI and healthcare as well. All together, we have one common goal, which is no else than equitable access to quality services worldwide for everyone. Hence, I think that having a certain set of challenges, which is mutual, and having different uh, categories of addressing and different ways of addressing issues from a policy making perspective enables different policy makers to exchange on best practices, things that work, things that don't, and we help each other reach our goal which is common and it's universal. There are some big challenges around healthcare, it's sustainability, the ways in which care is delivered to an increasing population with greater than ever health demands and how we do that in an equitable way, particularly using technology, is probably the key question of healthcare today. There are things that we can do. Some of the problems of global healthcare are tractable uh, and with creativity, uh, ingenuity and innovation, we can act. It's been fantastic to welcome 620 delegates to the Future of Health Europe Summit and to the AI and Health Summit over the past uh, two days. Launching the Health Summit has been a real milestone. We've brought leaders together to explore how AI can transform healthcare. And I've been really excited to talk with so many experts who are really you know, bright, brilliant, and on the cutting edge of AI uh, and healthcare. AI is definitely new. You need to also educate and to address these challenges that yes, it gives you certain benefits, huge benefits, but what are the ethical aspects related to AI, for example? Uh, should we be scared of uh, sharing our information? How is our information protected? All about the cybersecurity, the possible threats, upsides, downsides, and everything about the digital tools that are related to using this technology. We know that healthcare is um, costly um, and there are such disparities across um, the length and breadth of um, the Europe and worldwide. And this is an opportunity for us to really learn from each other, um, use as good examples that are being done, that have been trialed, to really improve the health of our nations. I think it's very important that the Economist has uh, sort of organized this event. Uh, it's my second time here. And it's, it's extremely good to have this on the strategic level, but you're also mixing and networking with people that have probably the same challenges so we can learn of each other and network. This was a very high quality event with both providers and potential partners and decision makers. So we're super happy to be here. So I really believe that there is a lot of education that needs to happen for a large scale adoption of AI in health. And the economist leading this and bringing everyone together is super critical. So this is an amazing opportunity to network and meet potential clients and partners and providers and get to know the decision makers because everyone is here.